again with a breakdown coming straight from the PFF Draft Guide, all a part of your PFF Edge or Elite Package. Today we're discussing the Iowa tight ends. We have TJ Hawkinson and Noah Fant, two guys who are potential first-round picks. And we already see former Iowa tight end George Kittle tearing it up in the NFL with the San Francisco 49ers. So how do those guys compare? All of them played here during the PFF era dating back to 2014. Let's start with a breakdown on Hawkinson. He is pretty much the consensus top tight end for a lot of analysts at this point. It's because he brings an overall game to the table. When you talk about tight ends, the ability to be a receiver, stretch the seam, but also to run block. And if we look at our grades from last year, 90.8 receiving grade for Hawkinson, 74.1 run blocking grade is, grade is very, very good. Also, if we look at some of the advanced stats in the draft guide, yards per route run, 2.21 fourth in the draft class. That is excellent. He's sure-handed, only two drops in his entire career. We'll compare that to his teammate Fant in just a minute here, but also catching 76% of targets his way. Hawkinson is an extremely efficient receiver. He does have the athleticism to get down the seam, excellent body control, making catches. And again, he's got that run blocking ability that gives him a little bit more versatility, allows him to play in line more than a lot of the tight ends who come out of college these days. Let's compare him to Noah Fant, the guy who absolutely tore it up with a 4-5, 40-yard dash at the combine. It looks like a receiver when he's running routes. Very, very smooth. Reminds a little bit from an athleticism standpoint of Eric Ebron, currently with the Indianapolis Colts. The other comparison to Ebron is the dropped passes, too. Ebron took a little bit of time to get used to the NFL. Just had his breakout season last year. But Fant has 13 drops with only 78 career catches. That is an extremely high number. We see the drop rate just last year, 9.3%. That was 39th in the draft class alone. So Fant has a few questions as far as his consistency with his hands, his run blocking also a little bit lesser than what you're getting from Hawkinson on the other side. 69.3 last year, 65.9 in 2018. So Fant is not as complete as his teammate Hawkinson. Needs to do a little bit better job catching the ball, but he does bring a unique talent. You know, they'll line the two guys up on the same side at Iowa and Fant's ability to get down the seam with, with incredible speed or outside the numbers really put defenses in a bind. So Fant kind of looks like a wide receiver sometimes when he's running. Now, how does that compare with George Kittle? A guy when he was at Iowa, graded extremely well in the PFF system. Actually, Kittle ha having the first and third highest grades we've given from an in individual season to any Iowa tight end since we started this in 2014. And if we look at the career overall grades, George Kittle has been the top guy, 91.4 on his 977 snaps that we saw at Iowa. Hawkinson, number two at 89.3, and then Fant coming in at number three at 75. Point four. We just saw Kittle last year become an incredible receiver, so he did improve quite a bit even coming out of Iowa. He cut down on some of his drops that he had in his final year at Iowa, but also he was a complete tight end. The run blocking grade 82.6 at Iowa really dwarfs what Hawkinson or Fant has done so far. So Kittle, probably the best all-around prospect of all these guys that has shown so far at the NFL level. Hawkinson will be ranked ahead of Fant in our final tight end rankings because of his all-around ability and a little bit more consistency in the passing game. But Fant does have that quote-unquote upside because of his speed and ability to challenge defenses. So two good Iowa tight ends would not be surprised to see both Hawkinson and Fant sneak into the first round on draft night.